let's build a Linktree clone in the next 10 minutes using Next.js with the help of Kiramase. So let me show you quickly what we're gonna build. Uh, let's create an account, test, test, one, two, three, sign up. Let's head quickly to our account page and set our name and our email. Great, let's head over to the pages, create our first page. This is going to be called uh, Kiramase. Uh, the description is Kiramase resources. Um, you can see we cannot make this public right now. We'll make our slug uh, Kiramase. Um, let's head back to the homepage, go to, um, go to links and create our first uh, link. This is gonna be our GitHub, which is gonna be uh, this one right here. Uh, attach it to Kiramase. Create our second one, which will be our website. Uh, web Website, great. Um, and then finally, let's add uh, Discord. Uh, S uh, Discord, perfect. And then let's create that, perfect. So now if we go back to our pages and we try and open the public page, you'll see this page is not public. This is going to that slug. Um, if we go to our account, go to billing, uh, subscribe to the pro plan, this will redirect us to Stripe. Let's fill this in very quickly. I'm now redirected. You can see I successfully am on the pro plan, which renews in a month. If we now head back home, go to our pages and hit edit, make it public. You can see we can do it now, save, refresh, and there we go. We've got our uh, link tree that is accessible even on pages uh, without uh, authentication in a private browser. So let's build this in the next 10 minutes. All right, I'm going to shut down this page here. Uh, let's go back to the home route and uh, shut down these two, um, these two terminal sessions and then change out of this directory and let's run bun create next app. We're gonna call this Twitter uh, Linktree clone. Say yes to everything here. We're also going to create a new uh, Postgres database called uh, locally called create and doing that with create database uh, Linktree clone. Do like that, exit out of there. Let's jump into that new directory um, and let's run Kiramase in it. Uh, so we're using source folder. We're gonna use bun today. We need Shetzi and UI for our component library. We're gonna use Drizzle because we've used uh, Prisma for the last few uh, using the Postgres JS provider, configuring and installing some packages. And then we are gonna use Lucia for authentication because it's very quick. Um, and then we're gonna install TRPC. Let's actually also add, while we're at it, uh, Stripe as well. Perfect. So let's head into uh, first adding our environment variables. So here we want to add, uh, this was Linktree clone. Um, and then I'm gonna add these uh, quickly here. There we go. Let's uh, run um, uh, bun db generate and bun db migrate to run our first migration. Let's run the dev server and see what we've got. So I'm just refreshing the local history 3000 page in my browser. Pre presented with that same screen. Let's use test, test one, two, three. And there we go. Uh, we've got a blank application here. If we head over to account, you can see we've got the account page. Uh, let's put in our name, Nico, as well as email at test.com. Great, let's head back home and let's create our resources. So we're gonna create, we're gonna use the Kiramase generate um, command to build a model, TRPC route using components for our first model, which is gonna be called pages. Every page is gonna have a title, um, which is required. Every page is also gonna have a description. Great, which is also required. And then every page is gonna have a Boolean toggle uh, to say if it's public or not, uh, this is required. And then finally, uh, every uh, page is going to have a, uh, a slug, uh, which is also required. Uh, no other fields, uh, no index, but we do want it to belong to the user. Before we run the generate and migrate command, let's jump into the editor, uh, look up pages, head to the schema. We wanna make a few changes here. We wanna make the public to default to false. Um, and then in the uh, schema here, let's ensure that slug is um, a minimum of, let's say three characters. Um, and that should be good for now. So let's run bun db generate, bun db migrate. Cool, and let's run the dev server again. If we now head over to pages, and actually while we're at it, I'm gonna open a new uh, terminal here, open the editor, zoom in, and then uh, I'm gonna head to our root route and just underneath the all form, I'm gonna add uh, a UL, um, uh, a list with um, with two list items. Uh, the first being a link to, um, to the pages route, um, slash pages, just for easier navigation pages. And then we'll make one as well for uh, for page links, uh, which we will do, which we will scaffold in a second links. Great, um, so let's create our first page. Again, I'm gonna make this called Kiramase, Kiramase resources. And let's uh, make this like Kiramase. Great, added that, no problems. Um, let's now scaffold up the uh, links, Kiramase generate. 
again, everything except for the API route, we're going to call this page links. Um, every link is going to have a title, which is required, a URL, which is required, and then it's going to reference our um, pages. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, we do want it to cascade on delete. We don't want to add another field, no index, um, and we do want these to belong to the user. Excellent. So now let's run bun. Uh, let's just double check first that we're happy with the schema that it's generated. Um, and I think we are. Yep. Um, so let's then head back down to the terminal and run bun db generate and then bun db migrate to push those changes. Let's run the dev server one more time. Uh, this time we could head over to our homepage and then let's go to links. And here, let's make our first link. So let's call this a uh, website. And this is gonna be website here. Um, and you'll notice one problem right out of the bat. Let's create this, but you'll see exactly that these, um, the options for select are the ID rather than the name of the page. So let's change that. I've actually flagged these in all projects as to do. So we can just change this to page.title, save the page. And if we open edit again, I think we may have to refresh. And now you can see Kiramase is available there. If we were to create a new one, you can see it there as well. Um, You'll notice as well, we cannot create new items because we'll get a, a DB error if we um, don't se select um, uh, a foreign key here. So that's an, a great quality of life thing that's already a uh, feature that's already coded for you out of the box. So let's just add one more and let's say the GitHub, um, GitHub here. And again, we'll connect this to Kiramase. Let's head back home and let's get started on creating what we want to be um, the shareable page. Uh, maybe actually first, first things first, we'll head to the root uh, the, pay, the root page for the pages, we'll head down into the pages list and inside the pages list where we're rendering out each individual page, I want to add a link that will link uh, where users, it will basically create the link for the shareable page. So let's add a link component here, uh, import from next link. And we're gonna have um, a string here, which will be slash and then the page.slug. Um, and then this is public link. Uh, let's just add uh, flex on this uh, div and then we'll add space x uh, two. Let's see how that looks. So if we head into pages now, we should see there the public link. Not the prettiest thing, but functional. Um, we could actually make this four. Let's see if that helps it out. Uh, okay, open that up and you'll see that we have uh, 404 here. We also have the nav bar. So let's sort that out now. What we're gonna use here is a, um, is a feature in Next.js called uh, route, route Groups. Um, so what they allow us to do is to encapsulate um, effectively groups of routes together where we can have a uh, layout or, uh, yeah, a layout just for those pages. Um, and that way we can add the nav bar to everything that would be uh, requiring authentication and then obviously not have that for the public page. So how we're gonna do that, um, you invoke them with parentheses. So we're gonna call this auth, create that folder there. I'm gonna pop the account, page link pages, sign in, sign up, um, as well as the root page. We're gonna put all of that into there. Um, we're then going to copy the root layout and we're gonna pop that in there as well. Um, in this case, we really don't need much here. We just want to wrap the whole layout in um, a div with the uh, nav bar included. So I'm gonna go like this here. There we go, that's our div. And then finally, let's uh, VT bang, get rid of that. And then import the nav, oops, import the nav bar uh, like so. And so now we've got the nav bar rendered there and then we head to the root layout and now we're gonna remove the uh, nav bar and the main. Uh, so we can do that like that. And then that should be good to go. So we still have the same effect, but now if we were to go to this public link here, you can see that we don't have the nav bar there anymore. Perfect. So let's get started creating um, the, uh, the root layout then, or the root page. Uh, so if we head into app, we're gonna use dynamic route. Um, we're gonna call this slug and then it's gonna have a file called page.tsx. In here, we're gonna say export default function, page uh, return main, uh, hello, just so that we can see that it is working. You can see there, hello. Um, then we're gonna pull in the params here and let's type them to be params slug, which is a string. Great, and then let's just render this to see that we um, that it's all working. And so now you can see Kiramase right there, perfect. Um, now let's create the logic. We're using QRPC here, so let's head into the page router. Um, which is right here. And we are gonna create a new um, a new procedure, which is going to be get pages by slug, um, get page by slug with links. Um, we're using drizzle under the hood. So let's, uh, let's pull it in from our context. Uh, so we're gonna go uh, const p equals await uh, ctx context.db.select.from, um, uh, and we're gonna select from pages. 
uh, make sure you get the right one here, um, where I'm going to use the equal function, uh, where pages.slug equals input. Uh, and then this is where we're going to have to change this input to be uh, import zod, uh, zod object. And inside here, we're going to have slug, with a zod, which is a zod string. And we're going to say that the pages slug equals input.slug. Great. And then uh, we want to perform an inner join um, so that we're sure that every array that or every element that is returned is, um, or in this case, when we're performing the join, we're going to have the, the pages and the links. And it, with an inner join, we make sure that both the, the page and the link are not null. Um, we're going to do page links here. And then we're going to use the equal function again to say where page links dot um, page ID equals uh, pages dot ID. So that should be good for us to get going if we ct, oops, uh, ct bang, and then we're going to return p. And if we head to this page here, we're going to, now we're going to invoke this function. So let's turn this into an async uh, server component or an async function. It's a server component regardless. Um, and write await API, which is our server side invocation of um, TRPC. Then we're going to say dot um, pages dot uh, get page by slug with links dot query. And then we're going to hand in the slug which is going to be uh, params.slug. Great. Um, so first thing, let's uh, throw a 404 if um, if no pages are returned. Uh, so if pages.length equals zero, we're going to return not found, uh, which is an XJS function. So now if we were to, for example, say Kirima says, we get our 404. Um, but if it does exist, we could then, in here, just so you can see that things are being returned, uh, let's stringify what we're getting back. And there we go, we've got all of our links um, there. So to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to pull out the page quickly and say page equals um, p zero dot pages, which is our page. And then I'm going to say const uh, links, which is going to equal p dot map. Um, and we're going to return page links uh, page links dot page links. A bit redundant, but anyway, that will work. Um, so one thing I have done beforehand using v zero is um, mock up just a, a link tree page. So if you um, we head into this code and I can provide this code in a GitHub repo. Uh, we're gonna copy everything here, paste it in as so. I'm actually gonna delete everything in the footer um, just for time's sake. Uh, we'll delete two of the links and then we'll now uh, import the link here. Um, we're gonna use a home icon from Lucid React, so nothing else to do from there. We're then gonna wrap that link in curly brackets so we could then iterate over our links. So we'll do links.map. Um, as such, and then I'm going to pull out the link. And now if we add a key, so it won't complain, uh, we'll say this is link.id, great. And then we say uh, link.title, perfect. And here we're gonna say uh, page.title, and in here uh, page.description, great. Um, that should be it. So if we were to go back into our application, ah, I've imported the wrong link as I tend to do uh, with my editor. Um, so this is gonna be next link and then home icon, we're gonna uh, import like this. And now let's see, there we go, it's all set. And so if I were to click here, we actually, we didn't we didn't um, hook up the link here with the href. So if we go curly brackets and we say link.href, I think it's link. Dot, what do we call it, dot URL. I love TypeScript. And then we go website, there we go. So that's all wrapped up. But the last thing we wanted to add was that you can only make this page public if, um, well, you can only see this page if it's, um, you can only see this page if it's public. Um, and equally, you can only set it as public if you are subscribed. So let's do that very quickly now. Um, we are going to say, if page.public equals false, then return um, main, this page is not public. And now, there we go, that's already done. Um, and final thing here, we want to head over to our page pages. Um, sorry, that's pages slash page, um, and then go to our page form. And in our page form, we're gonna go down and we're gonna import from TRPC, a nice helper function. Um, so TRPC, this is now the client side um, invocation of TRPC. We're gonna go to account dot get subscription dot use query. And if we go here, we're gonna pull this in as sub. Um, and then if we head down to our um, public, it's right here, we're gonna say disabled equals if sub dot is subscribed equals um, false. Um, and then if that doesn't exist, we'll just make it false by default. So now you'll see that this is disabled. So we can't make this public. So let's check now, it should all work. If we head to our account, um, go to billing, 
Uh, I'm going to have to run the Stripe uh, CLI, which we'll do here. Stripe listen. This is automatically added to your package JSON when you install Stripe with Kiramase. Uh, let's click subscribe. I've also set up this product catalog before, um, but it's just a generic product. Uh, fill in our payment details. Now we've successfully uh, joined the pro plan, renews in a month. If we now head back to our page, oh, homepage, we gotta head to uh, pages. Oh, this can happen every once in a while with local uh, development. We just rerun the server quickly, head to pages. And then we hit edit. And now you can see we can mark this as public. We hit save and now we head over here, refresh and look at that. We've got our link tree page. Um, so yeah, this is how fast I this is how fast you can really get off the ground with Kiramase. I I find that Kiramase is a lot like V0 is with user interfaces, except on the level of your entire Next.js application. Obviously, these components that are being built here aren't um, the final components that you're going to be using with your users, but they do make it so fast to get a lot of the the boring, tedious boilerplate off the off the table um, and allow you to really start focusing on user experience and and building something that is valuable. Um, so yeah, if you if you like this, check out our our website, the documentation. Check out the GitHub. Leave it a, leave it a star. And um, yeah, we got some cool um, new features coming in the next few weeks. And uh, please give it a go. Thanks a lot.